Hi guys, this is Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're going to be going over a basic tutorial on how to work with music files in Premiere Pro. Specifically, we're going to be looking at some of the ways that you can make your music match the length of your video. You can also use this method to replace sections of your music that don't quite match the tone of a specific portion of your video. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is bring your music clip into our timeline. Let's say we want to use this music clip for our video, but it's too long for us to use. So how do we make it a little closer to the actual length of our video project? There's two solutions. The first is to go to your essential audio panel and with your music clip highlighted, select it as a music clip. From here you can set the duration of exactly how long you want it to last. Premiere will then speed it up or slow it down to last the new duration. It does a great job of stretching and contracting. If you don't have an incredibly large change in the length, it'll actually be really challenging to notice a difference in your music. But if your video length is massively different than your music clip, your music runs the risk of sounding quite off. For this situation, you'll need to manually duplicate or cut out the sections of your clip. Let's try cutting out a section of our music to make it shorter. The first step will be to find a point at which there's a similar downbeat between the two sections. Make a cut with your razor tool on the downbeats of each of these two sections. Now, delete the section in between that you want to take out, and move the two resulting sections close together. We can hear that our music clip is close to hiding our cut, but it's not quite there. So we need to manually adjust how early or late each section of the music is so that it flows more effortlessly. What can help is to bring your second music cut to a new track, and then extend both clips so that they overlap and show the audio waveforms next to each other. This can help you to see better how to line up these two clips. Great, let's take a listen. We're almost there. We just need a keyframe or audio tracks to fade in and out before and after the change so that it more gradually sets in. Perfect, that sounds great. This principle is the same if you want to extend how long your music is by duplicating sections. Instead of cutting, you want to duplicate this section and then line it up just like we did before. Depending on the music file you're working with, it's possible to achieve a great hidden cut without fading in and out your audio. But even if it sounds good, try seeing what it sounds like with an audio fade. You may be surprised. And that's it! That's a quick way to shorten or lengthen your music files in Premiere Pro. It's also a basic skill that can help you make more advanced audio edits later on. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I hope to see you in the next video.